have you ever had an experience where someone doesn't clear the beef and they just hate you afterwards? Or is it always kind of like, hey, we're, we're doing this for the same reason? Well, it, it happened uh, that, you know, like guys have uh, like really personal issue with each other. I, it, it, it never been the case for me. I see it as a, as a, as a job. And to tell you the truth, I kind of love my opponent in a way that I don't hate my opponent. And, and the reason is why if, if I hate my opponent, it's a little bit like if I hate myself, because when I look at myself in the mirror, I'm a little bit similar to what I see, what I saw across the octagon. Because that person probably made a similar uh, sacrifice than, than I did. He, he had a, a very similar life, life path than I, than I have, very similar. So I can identify to him much more than I can identify to anybody else, you mm -hmm. know? So for me, it's important that I respect, respect that, you know, like we give, we give it all. We, you know, we, we, we go all in when we, we do that and you know, there, there will be only one winner and one loser. Like yeah. the, the winner takes all sort of, you know, like take all the fame, take all the, the credit and, you know, and, and it's suck, you know, but I have to respect that. It takes a lot of courage. And I know a lot of guys have personal beef and th there is a guy that I thought that I'm not, I mean, I have no grudge against them. But I know they could, I could not really be friend. It's a question of compatibility, you know, and, 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 and some guys are, I'm, I'm cool with them. Like, uh, Michael Bisping, last time I went to England, we had a, we had a lot, we had too much to drink, you know, we had a good, really good time. And, and, uh, you know, like he, he's, he's, it's a guy that I fought. And when, before we, we fought each other, it was a lot he of He was trash talking talk. a lot of shit. Oh, a lot yeah. of shit. Yeah. And one of the best thing that he did actually for leading up to that fight was, you know, with a lot of the stuff are like promotional stuff. We do press conference and th things like that. But but the best thing that he did, and he's a, he's a clever guy. We were in Toronto and uh, after one of the press conference, we went back to the parking lot to our cars and our cars were in different location. But to go to the parking lot, we had to go through the same same spot. And, and when we did that that press conference, we we had a stare down, and and we kind of he kind of he kind of went to touch me, so I had to push him, you know. So when we went in the parking lot after the press conference, he saw I think he saw that TMZ was there, so he walked back to me in the parking lot, and he went face to face with me. He said, "Hey, keep your F N on you because I'm next time you do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna smash you." I'm like, "What?" As I like, F you, keep your Keep your hand. You touch me first, so don't touch me if you don't want me to touch you. And then, and then, we, then this, this thing like and people separate us. It wasn't stage, but it, it, because it's real. Like, like I didn't know. Like the way I felt when that happened, I was like, man, does he want really want to fight with me? And so I was ready to fight if something happened. And I'm sure the same thing for him. But he did it in a promotional way to instigate me. Yeah. But that was very smart because that went viral. It was crazy. So. So when you say that certain things, it's not stage, it's real, but it's with some, some of the, some of the fighter take it personal. I never did. When it's over, it's over. We shake hands and it's over. But sometimes some guys, they, they take it personal. You, you said that one of the critiques or something that people did say negative was you like weren't, you didn't cause enough drama in your career. So do you think that that's like essential? There has to be that beef and people have to be yapping at each other in press conferences? No, 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 no. You, you, you don't have to, but, but most of the fight are promoted on emotion because people can relate to emotion. If, if two guys fight each other, like, like for example, like two guys fight each, each other, they're very, very skilled, but you don't know about them. You, you, if you're a fan of, for example, of, of MMA or boxing and you see two very skilled guys fighting each other, that will get your interest to watch the fight. But if you don't know who's who, yeah, what will get you tuned in is the fact that, oh, uh, he talks about my wife. I can't believe it. You know, he said this, you know, it's, it's, you can't say that, you know, you'd never talk about someone's wife, like, like, like something then you, then you can relate to that. 